Yo! Hero Flare! Finally, after what feels like forever, we finally got first place, undefeated, true undefeated, no draw, no tie, or anything like that, true undefeated, at our monthly OTS championship. At the People's Card Shop, we have something what's called a People's uh, OTS Championship, where a winner, essentially we get free entry, a bunch of packs and or credit. We had a total of five Swiss rounds, and I also had to play it out in top four cut down to top two. In today's video, we're gonna be going into depth on the deck profile that we went with. Michael Bowden back here once again, and I am your host, Destiny Hero Mike, baby. And welcome back to D-Time! We're here, baby. It's always D-Time and in more ways than one. And before we go over our Swiss rounds, deck profile, explanation, and going into depth and all that good stuff, just a brief announcement. Get over to dtimeexclusives.com to get this awesome feel, this awesome play map. And guess what? These bad boys are going out this month, as well as the field centers. So go check that out. We're doing a $5 off special on these bad boys. So go ahead, check them out. These will be finally be getting sent as well as the deck boxes. Now those are already sold out. The D time deck boxes are already sold out. There's not even gonna be, I don't think a restock is gonna even be coming. So those are also coming later on this August. Promise, really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. And of course, the D time YouTube membership supporters. Ain't forgot about y'all. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. The love that you guys give, Man, y'all are the real heroes. Thank you guys so much. And without further ado, let's get it, baby. So here we are in to our deck list. Before we get into our deck list, please do us a big favor. If you guys wanna see this baby in action, some of our games, some of our Swiss games, uh, our first four rounds, we have our first four rounds recorded because obviously, you know, battery life is limited and, re limited and we re I've recorded this with my phone. So head over to D-Time Duels, where you can see these games live, at least the first four rounds live um, and I will there I will go over all my plays things like that the situation all my matchups at least just for the first four rounds we went undefeated because hop it into Swiss and by the way give that channel a sub we're almost at a thousand give it a like more so than this channel and of course give your boy sub here and a like and comment it's D time down in the comments but yes this is in depth so we're gonna take our time here okay now Hop, going into Swiss, what we had in Swiss, round one was Matanome, and I believe we, what ended up happening? I think we won the die roll. No, 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 no. We lost the die roll, but, you know, game one they bricked, and we were able to just play and win. And then game two in that matchup, uh, we were able to, uh, actually, we drove them, and we still got, they still pretty much full combo and blew us out with uh, Eradicator. Then game three, they drolled us, and we were really scared. Just go check that out over at D-Time Duels. Uh, it's, that game was crazy. So game one, Madden no, no May, we, cr we clutched that out. Game two, Rika. Uh, yeah, yeah, round two, Rika. Uh, round three, Branded Despia. I don't remember all the die roll winnings. I don't. A lot of times, I don't think I won a lot of the die rolls. It, I think it was 50-50 for me, something like that. Round four was Infernoble. I just want to say this. Droplet go burr. Droplet is absolutely insane. Let's just say that. And then round five was another Infernoble match. So it was two no Infernoble matches back to back. So uh, fortunately, we did not have to fight Labyrinth because I think that is legitimately a bad matchup for Hero. I really do believe that. Then we had our um, four. I, I tried to split. They didn't let us split. So we were forced to play it out. Round four, I mean, uh, that was round five. So top four was Dragon Link. Again, they went first, full comboed. I just want to say, Droplet go burr. Droplet was insane. Get yourself some droplets right now. I believe, I believe, I believe that they are super cheap. So get your hand on those droplets because they're, they're, they're crazy cheap. Then uh, top two was once again Infernoble because they ended up defeating... Uh, they ended up defeating the uh, Labyrinth player for us. Labyrinth got knocked out by the same Info Noble player twice. So I really kind of lucked out there. But like I said, fortunately, there, there was no um, 
there is no tie. This is a true. I beat all my opponents. So this is this is. I feel really good, and this is a big deal for me. So this deck is absolutely crazy. So let's go over the deck list without further ado. Finally, you know we beat, we got that OTS championship. Let's go. Let's get into the deck list. Okay. So we're gonna start out with three Stratos. So yeah, three Stratos is really good. Uh, need that, right? Um, Liquid Soldier, one Shadow Mist. I was playing two, but you guys gonna see why in just a bit. The E Hero Neos, and I wanna really, cause we need that. This, I just wanna say this package is crazy. I won alone, I won off of the Neos package by itself. This was what won me the, the game. This was what won me the tournament. Shining Neos. Uh, gets an Infernoble match. They normal summon the uh, Space Connector because they start with Space Connector, which really blows up either Ash or Droll. So they have a really good time in Ash format because the Space Connector into the Neo Space and Aqua Dolphin. Uh, but we were going first, and we set up the uh, the in Game Three. We set up the um, Shining Neos. They summon the Space Connector. They had no choice, and they bring out Aqua Dolphin. And then we favorite contact bring out the Shining Neos. Which just well, that one is the game, just that by itself. And then he has so much attack power. By the time you go attack with hero, it's just crazy. He was pumped up by an additional, I don't know, like twelve hundred or something. So it was just crazy. Um, but I want to talk about E Hero Blazeman. Now listen, I understand that there are a lot of people that were on the fence about Blazeman and still are. But I want to tell you, this guy is insane. He's won me a few games. <laughs> We're able to play through Ash no matter what. Now, this deck, there's something I want to elaborate. Hero puts the opponent on, you better have Droll or lose. And I feel like any deck that puts the opponent on better have Droll or you lose is the highest, is the uh, upper echelons of competition. It, it, it's, a, it's a good, it's a strong and competitive deck. If it puts the opponent on better have Droll. So this deck, especially with Blaze Man, it puts the opponent on, hey, you better have Droll or I win. Like, and because you didn't, you lose just because you didn't draw a Droll. So I think that makes, that puts this deck in tier one. That alone puts this deck in tier one. The, the, because in my previous video, please go check that out. In my previous video, we talk about Blaze Man. And the synopsis, of the Reader's Digest of that video was that you summon Blaze Man, it, say you open your you open your Ferris right because now we're playing three Ferris. You open your Ferris, or you have access of getting into Ferris in the same turn. Like here lives, get your polymerization first. Doesn't matter if they had Ash Blossom or not. It's not enough anymore. You just minus one for us to get the same exact combo, regardless. We get the same full combo regardless whether you had Ash or not. That's the power of Blaze Man if you order it correctly. So I urge you to go check that video out because he's punished a lot of players this tournament, especially teamed up with, especially teamed up with Triple Tactics Talent, this guy, uh, or even like if they drill us, we Triple Tactics Talent them and then Fusion Destiny thereafter. He he puts so much pressure on hand traps, even Droll if you have the right hand. You can open him, summon him, get Palmerization, forces out the Droll, then you Triple Tactics hit a card from the hand then you drop fusion destiny gg like just that alone he puts so much pressure on hand traps it's not even funny and if they don't have it you just confirm that they don't have anything you full combo just the same you still use your vision hero increase and set up just the same so i just kind of want to talk about that really uh i just wanted to brief over that since this is an in-depth profile on our first place win so boom so then uh going into three ferris Two Vion and two increase. So that doesn't change. That's still the same. So and increase again, like he just he just backs up. Basically what happens is he backs up the vision line and the vision line backs up Blaze Man. Blaze Man backs up the vision line and the vision line backs up Blaze Man. Also, he's an e-hero in name to help us polymerization into the infernal rage. Keep that in mind. The guy is just he's a whole package by himself. He's a real threat. And then your standard uh, Destiny Heroes. Your uh, Plasma, Dark Angel, and Denier, and Double Malicious. Standard, they win games single-handedly. So, 
And lastly, Triple Ash Blossom because it's, it's generically good, this format. I like it against like something like a Rescue Ace or Branded Despia, something like that. Um, and then if it's not high impact enough, we swap her out for Droll, right? Depending on the match. Like if I'm going against Infernoble or if I'm going against um, any kind of crazy combo deck that we know Ash is just, they're going to play through it, like D-Link or something like that. Ash could be good against like Chaos Space, but I'm going to try to, or Madanome. Sometimes, like, you might want to Ash the Field Spells, but you really, you really want to Droll those decks if you can. So sometimes, or I might just keep, I might just do three Drolls, three Ash sometimes like that. I just have option. But just the only thing in the main deck, because we don't want to Brick with too many Hand Traps, so just the one uh, set of Ash Blossom. Okay? On to our spells. This is a 40 card deck, by the way. Three uh, Hero Lives this is the engine stuff and three fusion destiny i think we have more monsters than we do spells this time around so boom that's like engine wise and then like tech and one of triple uh this guy this car was insane we didn't go against any cash Thera, so it was crazy and if we did go against cash Thera, we just swapped those out for book of moon but there's no cash Thera because dune just came out a lot of new decks and things like that new support people i think are over uh cash and then and also people are starting People might smell the ban list coming for those for that deck, so it's good to get off that deck right now and start training on something that's just as just as competitive, if not even more so. So therefore, that means less uh, that means less uh, arise heart, which means this card has gotten better, especially against again Infernoble. This win this won me the tournament single handedly, absolutely uh, triple draw, um, triple droplet, crazy the card is crazy, four hero at least. Then double mass change, so that's it. Like just double mass change. Dark Law didn't really come up too much, so and your one ups, your uh, Miracle Fusion, Call by Poly, Triple Tactics, Rota, E Emergency Call, and Favorite Contact. So all your one ups. This card is just absolutely crazy. I like the one E call. I never felt the need to actually take it out. It got there a lot. Th it got there a lot for me um it's really good it's perfect and now we have a lot more variety we have a lot more variety with uh e-call because we're playing blaze man so yeah and triple tactics challenge was insane because it punished both the ash and the droll and a lot of times we would hard draw polymerization we only need one in this deck because we're playing blaze man and the vision engine so we have so many ways into polymerization we only need one and Talons was crazy. It punished Droll. It just destroyed their hand right after they drolled us or ashed us. Just crazy. That's why we like to play that. So, yeah. Then on to the extra deck, uh, the star of the show, E Hero Neos Wingman. Absolutely crazy. Destroys it. it destroys a lot of matchups if you get this setup. What I like about this setup is that it does not it does not require the Destiny Hero usage. It's so good, man. So good, and it, it's so good to actually have him. He's actually viable, right? Because at first he was unplayable, but now he's just everything, everything. And then the Infernal Rage, E Hero Sunrise, Escarido, Absolute Zero, and your Wake Up Your E Hero. So those are your E Heroes. This card was absolutely crazy. It OTK'd quite a bit. This card by itself, especially. After you hit them with Droplet, they already lose half of their attack. You're getting over everything, and you're going to hit like two times, and that's game by itself. Because of his burn effect, and he comes out pretty beefy over, over 4K, usually by the time you bring him out. So, yeah. This E-Hero lineup, great. Absolutely great. We loved it. it. It did not fail us whatsoever. Dystopia, and of course, it's me. It's me. D. P. E. And yeah, he was also just just terrorizing the opponent. He was crazy as well. Put in so much work with the Dark Angel lock. DP is just disgusting. He's still just insane. Oh my. I still think he's the best hero of all time. Next to Stratos, I, he's the best hero boss monster of all time. Sorry, Plasma, you're really good, but DPE is the best hero boss monster of all time, in my opinion. Dark Law, and those are the mass heroes, so there we go. Then, your links. Two Cross Crusader for the grind game. Inferno Divisor, he's just broken, like, I, free pla uh, free, um, free Neos, just because. 
Warner Driver, Dread Decimator, and I want to be be careful with Inferno Divisor because you can't use him to make a Cross Crusader, so keep that in mind, or uh, or vice versa. Well, no, 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 yeah, you can use the Cross Crusader to bring him out because he's hero, but you can't use him to bring out a Cross Crusader. So I never did that in any of my matches. I did it in the correct order, so I just want to clarify that. But yeah, Warner Driver is just crazy, um, especially with the he combos so well with the um infernal rage it's just so good so they bounce these two in particular they bounce off each other so well these two just combo off of each other so well they bounce off of each other just that well okay and then getting into the side deck you've got two ghost bell which really got there in one of the matches this is a really good card i love this card two is just perfect Triple Joel, we still side deck it because I don't want to go against like something like a Labyrinth, which is a very common meta deck that I respect. And they set four or five and pass, and this is stuck in my hand. No fun. We don't want to uh, main deck this. I, I think that Ash has just a little bit more reach than Joel. As powerful Joel is, yes, it's a Joel format, but we're only going to side deck it. And we only want to hit the decks that we know it absolutely is going to be the most uh, effective. So I only side deck it. Then on to some of the spells. Triple Book of Moon, really strong. Um, and yeah, you guys know this is by now obviously the same list, but I wanted to go over it more. And now we have more data. We have more data to go over. This never came up. No purely matches or cash tier matches, but we were ready. That's how much room we had. The Cosmic Cyclone, one Duster, double Evenly, and triple Rivalry. These came up as well as Evenly. So really good, very versatile. We had a lot of answers. We had so many different answers. But yeah, as you guys see, this is the same... Uh, Decklist as we got third place in the previous tournament because this time we didn't really misplay like that And when everything went in our favor a lot of things went in our favor and to be fair some luck in terms of uh, matchup selection We didn't have any super bad matchups such as the labyrinth match. That's a terrible matchup in my opinion um, Maybe last format it was a good matchup, but this format is really bad and we didn't face that so I can also admit that But I now that we have more data. Yes, this is the same decklist as the previous deck profile but now that we have act more data to go on, now it, 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 it's, there are so many different nuances for us to go over. And I think this is the best list. I don't think there's anything to change for now until further notice. We do the best we can against Labyrinth. I mean, we have our Harvey Feather Duster, Cyclone, and our Evilly match. We do the best we can, but it's still a very hard matchup. And fortunately, I'm just happy we didn't have that matchup. We're ready for Purely or Kashtira, but I, I do believe Kashtira is starting to fall off. And anything like it, um, it's starting to fall off. But book is still really good. Never came up, but still, I'm not taking that out because we're ready for that matchup. Because we could have easily gone into that matchup because there were purely players there. And yeah, I mean, we're just man. We got a graveyard control unlock with uh, Bell, as well as our deck searching control unlock, as well as our Dark Angel. Or sometimes we don't even need Dark Angel with rivalry. We don't even need Dark Angel with rivalry. Just rivalry by itself is enough to end the match. And we have more board breaking alternatives in evenly if they don't put up a bunch of negates like rescue ace for example they'll put up a board but no negates right evenly easy right so things like that we have an answer for just literally almost everything so guys if you guys have any questions please ask down in the comments i'll be happy to ask and just one thing i want to clear up if you have any conditions or anything like that please speak up if there's something that you really don't understand or something like that please just speak up let us know we will answer you as as you know as awesome as we can because i don't want anybody misunderstanding my content and things like that you know uh we we don't want that we want to avoid any kind of hiccups or anything like that so if there's something if you have a question please po just politely ask uh me to elaborate and i will i've had no problem doing that in the past and i have no problems doing that now or going forward so just let us know if, if there's something that you're having trouble understanding and if you can't understand things as, uh, let's say, easy as uh, most people, please let us know. And I'll be happy to accommodate you. I just want to let that be clear. So, again, any questions on this, on this list, I'll be happy to ask, answer in the comments. So, appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. I'm going to see you guys in the next one.